Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenade. Today we are here in the warehouse range and we're taking a look at this little guy. This is the RGO. Yes, the R R G O. I don't know if that's Russian for RGO, but it doesn't matter. Or uh, Cyrillic. But it doesn't matter. That's details. So uh, we're taking a look at a grenade here. This uh, little go little guy goes uh, kaboom. Should have uh, spawned it. So, the RGO. The RGO is a uh, grenade, as is obvious. The RGO stands for a defensive grenade, something like that. And it was uh, used by the Russian uh, army. They uh, developed this during the their Afghan war, not the United States Afghan war. And they developed this because um, in Afghanistan they found the RGM, which uh, we will cover at some other time. But uh, we'll grab one here anyways. This guy on the left. would uh, In the mountains, the Afghanis would have time to kick away the grenade. Or the grenade would roll back if they were to throw, throwing it up in an upward position. And this was also an offensive grenade. RGN standing for offensive grenade. Which, uh, there's a significant difference. This, an offensive grenade, has less fragmentation. This has more fragmentation. It has... Two layers of metal to cause fragmentation. This has one thin layer of aluminium to avoid fragmentation. Because in a defensive position you have more chances to hide under cover, while in an offensive position you might not necessarily have this opportunity. Now, another thing in the RGN, on the bottom you might notice uh, some engraving. Unlike with the pineapple grenade, this was not meant to help with uh, fragmentation, which as we know with the pineapple grenade, didn't work. What it actually does is, if you're in low light situation, you can feel on the bottom and you know exactly which grenade you have. Smooth bottom, it's a uh, timed offensive grenade. Not smooth bottom, it's a RGN. Which, I didn't mention it, but you might have observed it, is a uh, impact grenade. So if we see it hit, boop. Now, the RGO also had a backup fuse. So if we pull that, which lasted about four seconds. I was a bit slow there. Which in case, for whatever reason, it doesn't explode within four seconds, it'll, uh, the secondary fuse will go off. There is also a uh, safety on this, so in the sense that a timed safety of one second, I believe, which if within one second you don't hit anything or something like that, it won't go off. But if you wait the time... Okay, that was... So, one, two... Okay, let's try that again. One, two... I swear this was an impact grenade. According to Wikipedia, it's an impact grenade that uh, goes off on impact, but it also has a four second fuse. It has two fuses, basically. Either way, it doesn't matter, it's details. I mean, it does matter. We do have uh, proper impact grenades uh, in here. You guys might know the infamous, uh, this infamous guy. You pull off the cap and it basically goes instantly. So this one isn't as uh, sensitive. It might just be a timed grenade in this thing. Or not. It's hard to... It's hard to know for sure. But it is a timed and an impact fuse grenade in real life. So yeah, I, I think that really covers it. It's uh, still in use today by the Russian army, as well as the Ukrainian army apparently. And it goes boom. What more is there to say? It's a grenade. So, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.